It's dark. It's quiet. Too quiet. And the whole world is depending on you. Target destroyed. You're hit! Are you up to the challenge? Laser Force, come and save the world. South Park Mall in Colonial Heights this evening. People reaching out to us. Sources tell CBS 6 that one shot was fired inside the mall this afternoon. The mall was evacuated and there have been no reports of injuries. This is a developing story. We're going to have an update for you online and on air. I was a little disappointed after seeing the video for Laser Force, wishing to find it was still located inside the mall. Oh well, fads come and go. Are there any laser games still operating in the country? Welcome to South Park Mall in Colonial Heights, Virginia, which opened in 1989. I'm Keith and thanks for coming along as I explore this mall. If you go by the numbers, this is considered a healthy mall. I only counted five vacant storefronts but I didn't feel comfortable in this mall. I don't know how much of it was just my feelings in general at that moment, or if it was from everything I read research in this mall in terms of crime and violence. In fact, I came across a video on YouTube that's 11 months old, and it depicts two teens stomping the crap out of another teen. It was brutal and probably helped with my feelings of being on edge while recording. In 2004, the mall instituted a curfew policy for teens. Doesn't seem to be working from what I saw online. However, I may not have been too far off base. Scott, one of my uh, subscribers to the channel, told me he doesn't shop South Park Mall during the weekends. That's where you get the crazies from nearby Petersburg and other areas. He goes during the week, and he told me that if FYE leaves, he will no longer have a reason to shop here at South Park Mall. This is a 800,000 square foot property with five anchor spaces. One is closed. The anchors are Macy's, J.C. Penney, Dick's Sporting Goods, and Regal Cinemas Stadium 16. The original anchors were Sears, J.C. Penney, Tallheimer's, and Leggett.
Sears closed in January 2018 as part of the plan to close 63 stores nationwide. This former Sears location is going to be replaced with 280 apartments as part of a mixed use transformation trend that's starting to take place nationwide. So if this is like the changes I noticed at Regency Square in Richmond, then this entrance here to the former Sears should be completely walled off and then they will tear down the old building and build those apartments up in its place. I guess it'll be interesting to see how that works. The Tallheimer's location, which is the only two-story retail location in the mall, later became Hex and then Macy's. Leggett's changed over to their Belk name and then Shuttered, and then Dillard's came in. Dillard's closed in 2012 and Dick's Sporting Goods took over that location. The J.C. Penney's, which is the last original anchor when it opened in 1989, was renovated back in 2010. Crime at the mall since it opened ranges from shoplifting and petty stuff up to the trend of stabbings and gunfire in the property. There's been several arrests for illegal gambling. The worst thing that I read, and it was shocking to me, was in 2016, the manager of the Knockout Burgers was placed under arrest for sexual assault at the restaurant. Yes, you're hearing me correctly. A food court restaurant. The manager is sexually assaulting women. From what I understand, I think they were employees. And I'm not going to read the description of the charges. It, it was disgusting. October 16, 2021, a juvenile was stabbed at South Park Mall. The police were quick to tell the public there was no danger to them. This was in the Dick Sporting Goods location. Apparently, the juvenile survived, was transported to the hospital for his injuries. According to local TV station WTVR, July 2nd, 2022, they were receiving several calls asking about information about a single gunshot fired inside the South Park Mall. The mall was evacuated. Law enforcement said there was one shot fired inside the mall, and that's all there is to the story. Don't have any other updates in terms of was there an arrest. In 2018, a Richmond man who shot his friend inside the South Park Mall, he got three and a half year prison sentence for that. So as you can see, this mall has a colorful history with the violence and it just has me asking the question, when will this possibly start affecting the occupancy rate here at South Park Mall. Will it ever? What will it take for that to happen? Yeah, 
Here we're coming into the food court at South Park Mall, and I like to think of this more as a food closet instead of a court. Between six to ten years ago, it's my understanding that the food court was renovated, but I was unable to find any documentation online to back up this time frame. But I was told that the shoe store here on the left, that side was also part of the original food court. So you had more dining choices before this renovation. For all I know, this spot here on the right could have been where the Laser Force game room was located. I couldn't find anything in the press about that. I guess it wasn't newsworthy. I do have to say it's great to see that Hull Property Group doesn't own this mall. I would have more cloaca vomit comet colored carpeting to walk on. I guess they only buy malls that are less than 50% occupied so they can drywall it up and put more of those nice looking historical photos on the wall and call it a mall museum. movie theater at South Park Mall was called South Park Cinemas and that opened on March 3rd 1989. The South Park Cinemas opened as a six screen movie theater and it was initially operated by Cineplex Odeon followed by Neighborhood Theaters and finally Regal. The South Park Six Cinemas closed in 2007 when Regal opened the South Park Mall Stadium 16 complex. This corridor here in the mall seemed to be the worst, in my opinion, in that it just seems so desolate and empty. It just amplifies a dying mall when the numbers say it's not. However, CBL, from what I read, appears to have a plan where they're going to take a lot of these malls that uh, are struggling and convert them into lifestyle type centers. So with them getting ready to add 280 apartments uh, at the other end, it appears that South Park Mall will be part of that plan. But I really wish this mall had the carousel that it opened with. Back in 2006, it was dismantled and taken to a mall in Montgomery, Alabama.
Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for taking this walk through South Park Mall in Colonial Heights, Virginia with me. And I don't hold much hope for this mall in the future. Anything that's located near Petersburg, Virginia is always going to have a fight on its hands. Until next time and the next video, thanks for watching. And I really appreciate everyone's support who subscribes to the channel. Take care and be safe, everybody.